everybody. My name is Brett Brock. I'm an artist from Nashville, Tennessee, and welcome to episode three of Drunk Drawer. Today we're going to be drawing uh, Lon Chaney and his character from Phantom of the Opera. Uh, there's dogs everywhere. People wanted more dogs. We got more dogs. We got Jasmine, we got Dempsey, we got Kenobi. They're everywhere. Uh, we've also got more drinking in this video. People requested more of that, and when I say people, like two people. But uh, regardless, there's more of everything. This one's got it all. It's also got a lot of failures, and specifically, it's not really drawing failures. It's just from editing. I lost 50% uh, of the film due to lighting, and then uh, for some reason, both cameras just turned to, they just figured they would just turn off uh, during the painting portion. So all of that is gone. It's all missing, and uh, so we smash cut to the end. And I'll be heckling myself the entire time because of it. Anyway, cheers everybody. Uh, anyway, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. Please give me a like and subscribe and leave me a comment on in the well the comment section. In this episode, I was uh, trying to get all fancy with you guys. I was going to go a Hollywood on you. I brought in some external lights, and I'd had some filters, like some cloth that was going to drape over them and try to give them more subtle uh, colors and build up some atmosphere that was so harsh. Instead, uh, those lights almost set, the <laughs> set all the fabric on fire and burned the house down. Kidding, insurance company. Uh, but anyway, it just got too hot, so I had to go with the typical light I have here in the house, which is far, far too harsh because it just uh, over overexposes the drawing paper. So I hope I don't send anybody in an epileptic fit over uh, all the smash cuts and the bright white colors and just blowing everybody's eyes out. The pencils seem to go okay. Uh, just having fun drawing away on Lon Chaney's character, the Phantom of the Opera. Um... Hopefully all this will be a big learning experience, so I'll be able to do better next time. But I really thought those new lights was going to soften everything and be what we wanted. Coming in the final stages of the penciling stage, um, I just got a smash cut away to that because the cameras decided to cut off towards the end of uh, both of them. So I lost the painting phase. There's the final pencils. Here comes our first intermission for drinks. Back to the drawing board, other side. Oh, everybody wanted more dogs. There's the mighty Kenobi. He's wanted in the scene. He'll do that a couple more times. The other two are just camera shy currently. Again, it's just overexposed because of the lighting and that white paper. Nothing I can do about it this time. I'll do better next time. Now there's an ugly mug. Nice double chin, old man. Back to dogs. There's Kenobi again. Oh, he's plopping down. Check our man out. Look at that haircut. That kind of haircut tells you that that guy doesn't have any money. He's been cutting his own hair since March. That haircut tells you that he spends a lot of time at home alone. Probably does a lot of drinking alone. I prefer that. To this day, there hadn't been one single bar fight in my house. There's never a line to the bathroom, and the music's always good. Swing on by. Trim your hair for you. You need a cut. Using a new brush. It's a bamboo brush, a Princeton Double Zero. I was really hoping that the uh, the lines would take, but. I paid, I don't know, 2 or $3 for it, so the bristles are already starting to fray on me. Uh, I really like that ink, though. That ink's really super dark and black, so I don't have to waste my time by going over it again and again to, to make it rich and black. But the brush is good in regards of lettering and uh, the dry brush technique. So I can never throw away art supplies. And uh, 
that jar is really good for the ink. It's really heavy, really got a good square base. So even when I run out of it, I'm going to keep it around and just refill it with other stuff. Drawing these hands was fun. Getting close. Not really the home stretch yet, but hey, we're getting ready to come up on another intermission. And this is right before uh, both cameras decide to take a crap on me and just cut off. Intermission two. Ooh. It's refreshing. Home stretch. Finishing up the uh, black and white ink art. And, of course, the camera shut off, so we lost all the art and all the film footage for the color art. So I've just got a smash cut to single photos. But anyway, if you stuck with me this long, thank you so much for liking and, or watching. And I hope you like it and hope you subscribe and hope you leave me a comment. There's the final one of the old boy. Lon Chaney, Phantom of the Opera. Here's a list of tools. If you've got any questions, uh, fire away in the comments. I'm not, a, uh, not an art instructor, but I'll do my best to answer whatever questions you have. Uh, I'm not going to make any assumptions. I'm just going to tell you how I do things and what works for me. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Take care.